It's July 3rd, 2023, and we are heading west along the St. Lawrence, exploring the best locations on the Canadian National Main Line between Toronto and Montreal. Wow, guys, look at that. An old electric. I have no idea what the origin of this is, where it's from, why it's here in Cornwall, Ontario, but that's really cool. There's a sign there, but we don't have time to stop. Uh, let me grab some pictures, though. Don't worry, we'll be back to check out the Mystery Motor in Cornwall in just two days. Meanwhile, enjoy a little vlogging and a very special locomotive sighting between Cornwall and Brockville. Leaving Cornwall. That Mau truck's over there. We're heading to Cardinal. There goes the train. I guess we missed that one. Hopefully we don't miss any more. Cardinal, Ontario looking for the mysterious little switcher that works this town. Look at that track. Right around, what is that? Dunkin' Donuts? I don't know. No, that's not Dunkin' Donuts. That's not even close, actually. No, no it's just orange, orange tarp. Um, yeah. Boys, look what we found. I am pretty sure, now I'm, I'm not very, I'm not a very smart person, but I think that's a GMD1. Uh, let me know, let me know if it's not, but I, I think that's a GMD1. And then, I don't know where the active switcher is, but that's a GMD-1 and now I'm happy. After the GMD-1 sighting, we continued towards Brockville where we found Via Rail's J-Train, a unique operation where trains 50 and 60 out of Toronto are combined until Brockville, where 60 continues east to Montreal, while 50 turns north towards Ottawa. Brockville is a small city on the St. Lawrence, and they're quite proud of their railroad heritage. In fact, Brockville holds claim to Canada's first ever railway tunnel, opened in 1860. Unlike most old tunnels, the Brockville Railway Tunnel is beautifully maintained and is now a tourist attraction. With a brief lull in the action, we decided to check out the tunnel for ourselves. You guys want to see something gross? <laughs> Wait for it. That is disgusting. And this is, I gotta stop my dad before he gets too far because I don't wanna go all the way through here. But this is the Brockville Railway Tunnel, Canada's first railway tunnel. I believe it was built around 1849. I'd have to look that up though. You can feel the cool air. It gets so cool down here. This is fantastic. Going underneath Brockville. CP Caboose, St. Lawrence River. I gotta get back or I'm gonna miss 305 and 271. 
rapidly moving north through the tunnel. We got a 305, a 271, a 714, and a 186. All CN coming, plus a few via rail. And we'll see what else shows up. Maybe a local? Radio's been silent, which is a good sign for me right now because I'm pretty far from the other end of the tunnel. Well, there's our 714, I guess. As we pulled back into the station, CNU-714 came flying through with a trio of EMDs. Well, they made good time. A few minutes later, VIA-63 from Montreal arrives as CN-372 rolls by on the South Main. I relocate just across the street for the next several trains. CN-186 makes a late morning appearance with stacks for Montreal.
that was a pretty big stack train. CN 186 going towards Montreal. Via 45 departs for Toronto after a brief station stop. Our first westbound freight of the day, CN-271, hauls auto racks from Montreal towards Detroit. The second J train of the day, via 62 and 52, split apart just west of the station and make their individual appearances. Another eastbound stack train, CN-106, hustles more containers towards Montreal.
CN305 hauls maritime traffic from Moncton, New Brunswick towards Toronto. A high rail truck rolls by on the North Main, signifying a brief break from the non-stop action. We head off to acquire some ice cream before returning for our final few trains in Brockville. Via 53 and 65 make appearances, both heading towards Toronto. That's a westbound, and that's coming in hot. CN L532 returns to Brockville Yard after switching customers to the east. Leading the job west is CN4769, the same GP38-2W I chased around Quebec City earlier this year. Finally, Via 40 would conclude our very successful rail fanning in Brockville. Onwards to Lansdowne. In Lansdowne, we set up for a trio of via rail trains, all running at speeds between 90 and 100 miles per hour. 
Look at this absolute speedway of a railroad. This is insane. I love the Kingston sub. Lansdowne is a quiet town on the Kingston Sub, conveniently located just across the Thousand Islands Bridge. We took a brief break to stock up on butter tarts before our final train of the day. If you've never had real Canadian butter tarts, you're really missing out. Be sure to buy a package while rail fanning for the full Ontario experience. Two, seven, C, total axle, two, zero, speed, eight. Heading out of Lansdowne, I'd call it a successful day of trains on the Kingston Sub. Enjoy your fourth, even though it's already passed by the time you see this video, I'm going to try my best to. NCT out.